What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is still on its way. And I've done a few list videos so far based around it. Top 5 most likely third party characters, Top 5 characters Sakurai would pick if he broke the video game characters only rule, Top 5 most wanted Echo Fighters, but I've never done a standard Top 5 newcomers that I want to see list. And that's why we're here today. Now, a couple characters on this list have placed on other lists too. So to keep things fresh, for the fighters I've already talked about, I will be including an Echo Fighter I want to see them with. Also, expect to see quite a few third-party characters here. I didn't grow up with Nintendo, so I don't have an attachment to many of their characters. But with all that said, let's begin. No matter how unlikely they are, these are my top 5 most wanted newcomers in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Number 5 is Springman from ARMS. Now, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's project plan was finalized in late 2015, and ARMS didn't come out until 2017 with the Switch. So I can completely understand if he's too new of a character, but we've had a situation worse than this before with Greninja. He was planned for the game before his game was even out, before he even had a name. Though I do suppose Pokemon in general is already a very established franchise. Overall, I can see Springman having a very unique playstyle and moveset, with his extremely long range and his ability to switch between different arms weapons. Plus, there's huge potential for alternate outfits with how many ARMS characters have similar body types. Ribbon Girl, Ninjara, and more. Number 4 is Aaron Ryan from Punch-Out! Woohoo! Another punchy guy! And this one's my personal favorite Punch-Out character because Irish heritage bias. Hi -ty -ty -ty. But yeah, out of all the Punch-Out characters, I think Aaron Ryan would fit best as a unique fighter. There are other candidates like King Hippo, who would just be a random heavyweight, and Great Tiger, who can teleport and send illusions, but that wouldn't really change much in terms of his actual combat. Aaron Ryan, on the other hand, has very spastic and unique movements, plus he can elbow or headbutt. Not to mention that in the title defense of the Wii Punch-Out game, he has this boxing glove on a rope that he can swing around like a whip. So with his crazy personality, animations, and movement, his his different unique moves like headbutting and elbowing, and his weapon, Aaron Ryan is a newcomer I'd love to see. Number 3 is Rayman. Out of all the characters on this list, Rayman is definitely the one that has the best shot of being included in the game. Now you may be thinking Springman for that because he's first party, but Nintendo has a massive pool of first party characters to choose from. When it comes to third parties though, there's a small puddle of all-stars that truly deserve it to pick from. And Rayman is most definitely in that puddle, making him more likely. Now I've already gone in-depth about Rayman and Ultimate more than once in different videos, so like I said at the beginning of this video, if it's a character I've already talked about before on list, then I'm going to include an Echo Fighter for them. And Rayman's Echo Fighter that I choose is Barbera. And yes, it's Barbera, not Barbara. She's a barbarian. Come on, guys. Now, when it comes to Rayman and Smash, I've always pictured him with a more Rayman 3-esque moveset, which wouldn't work well for Barbera. You know, with his paint bucket abilities and all that. But since Rayman wasn't really big on Nintendo until his recent Origins and Legends games, I imagine Sakurai would most likely take inspiration from them, leaving Barbera as a good echo for Rayman. Number 2 is Crash Bandicoot. Now this was the guy of my childhood, and pretty much the childhood of anyone who grew up with a PlayStation. We've got Snake, we've got Cloud, but now bring in PlayStation's real big boy. We know Sakurai is full of surprises, and it would be a pretty neat surprise to watch him taunt PlayStation All-Stars like this. With the huge comeback Crash has made showing that he can still stand up against Mario and Sonic, it's a no-brainer to put him in Ultimate. There's just so many ideas I have for Crash in this game, and I've gone over them in another video, so be sure to hunt that down. But just like with Rayman, I've talked about him on another one of these lists before, so he needs an Echo Fighter. And you shouldn't have to think too hard about who it could be. None other than his sister, Coco Bandicoot. I mean, she's practically been an echo for him in multiple games already. In Crash Bandicoot Mind Over Mutant, she was the second player. In the Insane Trilogy, you could switch to her where she had the exact same movements except for her idle and death animations. Plus more female characters, yay! So overall, Crash and Coco, number two. Number one is Jin Kazama. That's right, as much as I talk about him, it is not Heihachi. Out of all the Tekken characters and characters I want for Smash, Jin Kazama is number one. I only rant about Heihachi so much from how likely he is compared to Jin. Though Jin may have a shot now thanks to the inclusion of Echo Fighters. We saw Sakurai do it with the Castlevania trio when they were revealed. Simon as the fighter, Richter as the Echo, and Alucard as the assist trophy. So with this new strategy, Sakurai could come up with a way to fit in all three main characters of Tekken. Jin Kazama as the fighter, 
and of course his Echo, Kazuya Mishima, with Heihachi as the assist trophy. And I say that because in the previous installment, Heihachi was considered, but cut because Sakurai couldn't think of a moveset. So this could be a way around it. With Jin and Kazuya sharing a super similar fighting style in the original Tekken Tag Tournament, along with their demon powers, they could be echoes of each other while Heihachi is the assist trophy. But yeah, seems like a pretty neat idea. Jin is my number one most wanted newcomer in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and I hope we see him in.